think I've had enough fun for one night. You going? This was Steven's first directorial effort for True Blood, um, and he was a natural, which is really amazing because not everybody is, but he had so many really interesting visual ideas. The whole slow motion when the, the vampires come out of the elevator after Bourbon Street. I, I created the idea of them coming out of the elevator and then ramping from normal speed into slow motion and then sort of watching everybody's reaction to what was going on, but through Eric's eyes. What I wanted to do was recreate that feeling of a bunch of friends getting home, jazzed, just going, oh my god, that night was amazing, you know. We've got such an incredible bunch of actors that you only have to do, literally say what I just said to you. This is what I want to do. You're all going to spell out. Everybody's going to peel off the camera, and then I'm going to catch you and get moments of you having fun, going nuts, whatever it is that you want to do. Within seconds, people had planned stuff. And I knew I shouldn't have let Dennis and and Michael, you know, playing Russell and Steve off on their own, but within a minute, you know, they were playing sort of horsey, and <laughs> it was just hilarious. Is Sam here? And have you seen me? Are you me, Merlot? Sam Trammell is an amazing actor, and he is a fantastic mimic. When he impersonated Tommy last year, we got such a kick out of it that, yeah, I mean, part of us wanted to see him do something else with another character. We chose Luna because it just made the most story sense. And we thought it'd be fun to see him do a woman. And it was, and he was, you know, he's sashaying his hips and he's raising his voice and he's hilarious. Mr. Merlot? How does mind your own damn business? It was sort of a coming together for Luna and Sam at the same time. And it's fun to see Sam fall in love with Sam. And you're incredibly handsome. <laughs> We had a great shifting moment between Sam and Sam Luna, where Janina goes and looks at herself in the mirror. We see her go down, but the camera stays on the mirror, and then Sam comes straight up in the same shot, and she's shifted into Sam. So, you know, you can imagine the camera's here, and there's Janina, and Sam's hiding behind the camera, and, and, and as she goes out, he comes in, and it's kind of sleight of hand and showing things, but not giving everything away. What the hell just happened? We were in the presence of God. The biggest sort of change for any character, I think, which to me is the most intriguing, is Bill. I mean, by the end of the episode, you know, we see that Bill really is sort of buying into this. The final line of the show is when he says, I'm evolving. evolving. And that to me is sort of the most intriguing because Bill as a character is generally a nice guy and he's generally on the side of humans. But this time he's like, you know, screw humanity. I'm a vampire. And I think that's a really big turn for the character. And I just think it's interesting to see someone who's beloved and gentle go dark like that. Ah!